Solve for x. 2 sine of x minus sine of 2x equals 0. For the sine of 2x, I'm going to apply the double angle formula for a sine. So it's going to be 2 sine of x minus 2 sine of x cosine of x equals 0. Pretty straightforward from here. I'm going to factor out the 2 sine of x. That's going to leave 1 minus cosine of x equals 0. Apply the zero product property, so 2 sine of x equals 0. 1 minus cosine of x equals 0. Divide by 2. So I'm going to get sine of x equals 0. And this one, I'm actually going to add cosine of x to both sides. So you're going to be 1 equals cosine of x. So angles for sine of x equals 0. We have 0 and pi. And then for cosine of x, for 1, we just have 0. Now this is what you'd call a redundant situation. That means we have a 0 here and here. They're both the same number. We only need to use it once. So your solutions are going to be x equals 0 and pi. But we also need to consider the solutions that continue on forever. How does this pattern continue? It's going to be 2 pi, 3 pi, 4 pi, etc. So it's just going to be x equals n pi, where n is an integer.